U.S. Treasury is scheduled uh, to auction $39 billion worth of seven-year notes today. Investors are paying a lot more attention to these <clears throat> auctions lately. To talk about why, let's bring in uh, our own Steve Leisman. And uh, how do I describe the? I don't want to be in the middle of this. Uh, and um, You are. Deal and, with it. And uh, Rick Santelli, um, gentlemen. Take it away. Who, who wants? I don't even. This could start an argument. I had an idea. I had a thought. Who just, wants to start? I was yeah. wondering if the if the guys in the treasury hang around at one o'clock, and listen to Rick's grade. And if they get a high grade, they high five each other. Look, Joe. The problem. I'm going to let Rick take it away. The problem is we're talking about this at all. The treasury auction should be something that Rick comes on and in 30 seconds reports, and the grade should not be important. But the fact is, there's a blank ton of bonds coming down the pike. They're affecting the stock market. We have to talk about it. I don't know what you're thinking, Rick, but so far, so good. A squirrely two, a better five, and then we're looking at the seven today. I'll let Rick take it away. You know, to me, th this is a very easy topic to discuss. The numbers don't lie. So we have 39 billion seven years today. The high water <clears throat> mark was during COVID, shocking, when it was 62 billion. Ten years ago, it was $29 billion. I mean, I mean, that pretty much sums it up. And if you look at twos, fives, tens, thirties, it's the same dynamic. Uh, we had two years, uh, a couple days ago, $54 billion. Ten years ago, it was $32 billion. COVID high was $60 billion. In Dece of 2019, it was $40 billion before COVID. These numbers don't lie. And Steve... Thank the Lord we are talking about it. I think if Agreed. there's anything that Agreed. people in Treasury yeah. would like right now, it was that we weren't talking about it because these numbers are insane. And if the baseline of spending keeps going up, it, we're going to go from insane to crazy insane. And, and I really think that people need to pay attention Rick, here. I, I just want to play devil's when advocate I, wait, a Let me bit. just finish one okay, thing. Go ahead. One thing. When I heard the president talking yesterday about crazy MAGA and getting rid of your Medicare and Social Security benefits, all I could think of is somebody ought to buy the dude a calculator. <laughs> I agree. We have to address entitlements. But that was sort of what I was going to say, Rick, and I'm going to play devil's advocate here. Because what if you do the tell the tape, in August, we had a big problem. There was more bond issuance than the market expected. There was the Fitch downgrade. And then everybody came out of the woodwork and said, this is all about the long term. And yet, as we go through day by day here, Rick, we are selling the bonds. The bonds are getting placed. Yields have come down. So all of a sudden, just to play devil's advocate here, it doesn't seem so much about the long term. Seems more short term. The shorts have been wiped out to, to, to you know, uh, and the longs have taken a, a position here. So it seems like we are able to sell the debt and it's not necessarily about the longer term solvency or ability of the U.S. government to place its debt. I know. That would be kind of what I would think a third grader would think about it. I'm not insulting you, but unfortunately, <laughs> that's the way many in the market think about it. Oh, well, just if we could do it today and we could do it next week, we're fine. Right. Don't worry right. about it. But we're going to have to keep doing it. The average yield of our debt to service, it keeps going up. Who's going to be the new players? Bigger and bigger size, fewer and fewer takers. I just, I can't find a way to square that, Steve, honestly. Rick, is there, is there an issue here with the dealers taking it on the chin, auction after auction? At some point, do they rebel and they say, you know what? I'm just not going to lose money on this again. I, I guess ultimately they take the paper because, first of all, they have to, and they're able to sell it afterwards, and I'm assuming they're making some money, but these numbers that are being taken down by the dealers, they seem to be relatively high, and the indirects do not seem to be stepping up here, and that seems to me to be something worth watching. No, I, I completely agree, and I think when we look at the dealers, and for those that maybe aren't so familiar... I, Basically, dealers uh, are dealers because they're required to have a certain presence and a certain takedown at every auction. And it is in a group. They're supposed to make sure it moves smoothly, of course. Right. At one point, we had almost 60 primary dealers. Then there was a real dearth. It, it, it really dropped down to uh, small double digits. It's moved back up a little bit. But 
the, the answer to your question is most likely they will slowly drop out again. We've seen it happen. Uh, in the end, uh, the, the Treasury and the Federal Reserve really need these players, and there's a variety of things they can do to potentially help them out. But that doesn't make me feel all good and fuzzy either. The real issue here is simple, okay? Anybody out there who has credit cards, I mean, imagine if you had a $500,000 balance and you basically make 50 grand a year and you continue to spend more every month. That's where we're at. I, 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 can, I can counter that, Rick, just for fun here, which is that if I have a $100,000 mortgage and I make $100,000 a year, I have a, a debt to income rate ratio of $100,000. That's 100%, right? And what's so, the house worth, Steve? So, so what's the well, house it, worth? Well, you know, Rick, you're going to lose that argument. I'll tell you why. Because if you look at the U.S. as a credit-worthy uh, entity and look at our debt, to, our asset-to-coverage ratio here, we are extremely credit-worthy. That's not the problem. The problem, Rick, becomes, A, how much we're spending on the trajectory, but also the political will to pay it. And so everybody I talk, talk to, to Moody's says and it's a combination. That's what they said. They said about it's political will. But also it's the ability to tax and the ability to cut so spending at the same time. So basically what you're saying is political will has no desire to address this and it's okay because it works today. Sorry, I still don't feel good. On that we should agree and leave it there. Thanks, buddy. What do you well, think, Joe? How's it getting better? Well, How's it getting better? We both didn't, agree. Didn't it's get, too much, it too much debt. Didn't get out of. I, for me, it's getting worse because I like it better when you. But uh, yeah, you, you definitely uh, could have gone. It, it, you want a last word? I think I could still get this going. Probably. <laughs> You, you sound so sad. The last word is easy. The Discipline. last word is easy. If we don't bring baseline spending down, our kids and our grandkids are going to remember us in a very non-fond way.